Coming to EMU, uh, I was offered a position here back in 1981. Karen and I had both finished up our doctoral degrees, and so we were looking for the best job with the most opportunity for the other person. I think our goal was, what, three to five years. We're both from the East Coast, you know, initial job and all that, and, and as it worked out, uh, we ended up staying 40 years. We uh, just got involved. We served on committees across campus. We both won the uh, Ron Collins Award for service to the university and enjoyed our time getting to know people and we benefited from learning from others. And since retirement Karen has had, she still continues a more direct role uh, on the foundation board and women in philanthropy. I look at myself as an ambassador for the university and so everywhere we go we wear our Eastern stuff and we definitely uh, bump into people who have connections to the university so that's been really a, a lot of fun as well. The most important skill to work in our field, really almost any field, is the ability to develop relationships. You have to be willing to make connections with people, especially in a university setting. There's some new research out about the importance of students feeling connected to one other person at that campus that they can feel makes an impact on them and their lives. Having empathy for our students as well. Our students come from all different backgrounds and they're, they're challenged because of their, they're so busy. Many of them are, are working so that they can just go to college. Some of them have families with young children and their time is very limited in understanding where they're coming from and trying to make sure that they get the most out of classes despite their busy schedules I think is important for us as educators. Our influence uh, on the way of the world, so to speak, is uh, one student at a time. We know that they are going to go out and if they are exceptional teachers and if we have impacted them, they are also going to influence thousands of, of young students as well and so it just multiplies. I have former students now in China and Africa and the Middle East and that is spreading Eastern Michigan's knowledge around the world and impacting in so many different classrooms. When Michael and I were first hired at Eastern Michigan University, the president was John Porter. And this award means so much to us because we got to know President Porter early in our career. We talk about relationships and, and teamwork here at Eastern Michigan. Probably the, the greatest team member that I have had has been Karen. And being able to receive this award with my wife, I think, is, is really pretty special because you know, we, every night, the little pillow talk, talking about what's going on on campus, um, the challenges that we've had raising two young kids and the, the five o'clock pass off in the driveway. I'm rushing home uh, so that Karen can get in to teach grad classes and she's handing me the, you know, the, the little baby and she's, she's shooting on into campus. So um, the, the, the way that we have supported each other over the years and being able to, to be recognized together, I think is, is important. I want to thank um, for this award the people that nominated me, but I also would like to thank all the people that I've worked with throughout the years that support the work at the university, the foundation staff, and other fellow trustees. And mainly, I'd like to thank my former students. Oh, I will probably get teary-eyed, but just the message that, the reinforcement that they gave me, teaching that they were enjoying the classes and they were benefiting and I knew that when they went out that meant something what they learned here. Uh, I really like to thank Dr. Pat Cavanaugh uh, who passed away a number of years ago. He was my first department head and he took a chance in hiring me when I was a very young uh, faculty member and gave me a lot of responsibilities, made me program chair after just a couple of years. I'm afraid we're going to leave out people, there are so many, yeah, so many you know, that we could recognize. It's, it's hard to name everybody yeah, we just are so do justice to that. We just are so honored and so touched. It means so much um, to us and we appreciate everything. <laughs>